Hi guys and welcome to the 5th Oak National Academy Assembly Brought to you by Faith at Home My name is Chris And I'm Jessica Today we're going to be talking about pain What was that, Chris? I said today we're going to be talking about patience. I didn't quite catch that. We're talking about patience, Jessica. Oh, why haven't they called? Where is my takeaway pizza? Did he, did he, did he say patience? Being patient is to wait. Patient means to be calm and let others go before you. Being calm and waiting for your time. Let your friends go first. Patience means that like, if you want to go somewhere but someone needs to take you and they tell you to wait and you wait, then you are patient. I find it easy to be patient because I like waiting for my turn in the line. I find it hard to be patient because when someone annoys me, I, I just, I need to remember to be calm and relaxed. I find it easy to be patient because um, I know if I keep trying I can achieve anything. Patient people will go far in life. Lord, I pray that as a family we could be completely humble and gentle, patient and bearing with one another in love. I ask that our love for you and each other would be expressed as patience and kindness. Please send your Holy Spirit to work in us so others can see your love in us. By the way, we are patient with each other. Amen. Amen. Still no pizza. I guess you'll just have to be patient, Chris. Yeah, I guess. I was just hearing from some amazing guys about what they think patience means. I think you could learn a bit from them, Chris. Yeah, I heard them while I was waiting for my pizza. They must be way more patient than me. It is tough to be patient though, Chris. So don't be too hard on yourself. And have some hope. Patience can be learned. We can get better at it. We've got Father Nicholas, a Catholic priest from North London, on our show today. And he's going to be sharing with us some wisdom on the subject of patience. He could teach you a few things. Why don't you ask him some of your questions about patience? Okay, I will. So, Father Nicholas, what do you think it means to be patient? What does it mean to be patient? Well, to be patient means to keep going at something without getting too angry or upset, even if we experience a delay, even if we experience difficulty or even some suffering. So we can wait patiently for a bus or for our dinner, perhaps, we can also work patiently at something, our homework, for example, or maybe some housework we've been asked to do. So to be patient means to keep going at something without getting too upset and without giving up, even when it becomes difficult. Why is it good to be patient? Because so many of the best things in life take time. Look at this beautiful garden. These flowers didn't come ready-made. First, the soil had to be prepared, then the seed planted. Eventually, the first little shoots began to appear. All the time, the gardener is watering and pruning and nurturing until finally we're all able to enjoy this beautiful rose. Gardeners have to be patient. What about this beautiful statue of Mary, the mother of Jesus? This didn't happen overnight either. The artist had to chip away at the stone, hour by hour, day by day, until suddenly this wonderful statue is uncovered. Think about all the scientists hard at work, day and night, searching for a cure for the coronavirus to keep us all safe. Think about your favorite footballer and all the hours of practice they had to put in to master their craft. All of these people needed patience. And if we're going to do wonderful things in our world, then we also need to learn patience. 
if this is difficult for us, then we can ask God to help us. We are, all of us, God's work of art. So let's ask God to bless us with patience, that we might give joy to the people around us and give glory to God. Thank you very much, Father Nicholas. Okay, I think I can definitely see why patience is a good thing. And patience isn't just something our parents tell us to have for no reason. Good things are produced from having patience, just like Father Nicholas said. Exactly, Chris. Good things come to those who wait. Pizza! <laughs> Let's have a go at praying for patience, just like Father Nicholas said. Prayer Spaces in schools have come up with some fun and creative ways to pray for patients. Here they are now. Have patience with all things, but first of all, with yourself. For this activity, you will need to find a quiet place in your house where you can sit for a little while. Or better still, you could build a den using lots of cushions, blankets, chairs or tables. You will also need someone with an egg timer or a mobile phone. Patience is about waiting well. Like how the muscles in your body grow and get stronger when you exercise, your patience, your ability to wait well, grows with practice too. To practice being patient, sit in your den for two whole minutes. Relax your body, breathe deeply and just think about your day. Try not to think about what you're going to do next. Ask someone to set a timer so you know when the two minute ends. If it was easy, maybe try it for five minutes. Making time to be still can help you when you really need to wait patiently for something. In his letter to the Romans, Paul writes, but if we look forward to something we don't yet have, we must wait patiently and confidently. Mm. Mm. Thanks so much for that, guys. Chris! Ugh. Sorry, Jessica. But man, this pizza's good. It was definitely worth waiting for. I guess you have learned something about patience then. Some things are worth the wait. That's right. There are going to be loads of things that we're waiting for at this moment. You might be waiting to see your friends and your family, get a haircut, go to Nando's, wait for your pizza to arrive. And when those things finally happen, I think that we'll realise that they were worth the wait. So hold on guys, keep being patient and we will see you next week. Take care. Oh,